Good afternoon, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's Channel. So, Bao and I are gonna be going to have coffee at Dutch Bros. It's my very first time coming, I mean, having coffee at this location. Um, They have another one, I think, um, in Winter Park and one in Claremont. But this was the closest to Disney since we were gonna head to Disney, but we wanted to make a quick stop because I wanted coffee and I didn't want Starbucks. So, I wanted to try something different. So they do have drive-thru and you can, or you can go inside an order But we're probably just gonna go to the drive-thru grab our coffee and then head out to Disney because it's been a while since we've been to Disney so um, Yeah, we're gonna head to Hollow Studios after but this is what it looks like the building on the outside But this is the line for drive-thru if you want to go to drive-thru to get your coffee so that was really quick and easy. It really felt like I was at a Chick-fil-A drive-thru because these guys, they have their iPads out there. They take your order and then they'll bring your stuff to you. But they gave us a little pocket menu. So it's like a mini version of their menu um, if you can't decide if you what you want to get. So right here on the first page is their Dutch faves and then they have the classics and then their energy drinks and then they have also lemonade and tea if you don't want any caffeinated beverages. Um, oh yeah, and on the back they do have smoothies and um, snacks and shakes also. So the drink I'm going to be getting is the Anin... How do you pronounce this? Annihilate... How do you say this? Uh, Annihilator. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it has chocolate, macadamia nut. Um, yeah, you can get it in small, medium, or large. I decided to get a medium drink. Um, so I'm excited to try Dutch Bros for the very first time. Have you guys ever had this coffee before? Or are you planning to? Because this is new for me um, here. Because I heard they were like in other states. And then this is the... I think this is the first year or so that they brought it down to Florida. So I'm excited to try a new coffee shop. So we finally got our drinks. And this is what mine looked like. They wrote a little note on the top of my lid. It says, An Annihilate the Day. I don't know. I can't really read that well. <laughs> but, um, and then Bao had got the blueberry uh, lemonade drink right there. Um, let's see how this is. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. You can taste the chocolate flavor in it too. It's so refreshing. Probably one of the best iced coffees I've had. We finally made it into Hollywood Studios. Seems like a very busy Sunday fun day, but even though it is like almost 90 degrees out, at least the humidity is not that bad and it's not like pouring rain, so the weather is not too, too bad. Um, we are gonna go head over to Star Tours since it's only a 10 minute wait. And then from there, we're gonna just wing it and see what we can do before our dinner reservations tonight which is something new that we've never done before it's not on Disney property but you guys will find out in a little bit hey right, guys so we're gonna ride Star Tours it says standby uh, wait it's only 10 minutes so that's not too bad so let's go I haven't rolled this in so long way here we go walking under the app or ATAT whatever you guys want to call it R2 on this side you see the CP30 and the line's actually moving very quickly so this is pretty nice I have no idea what this is. Not at all. But I fear it could cause a lot of pain. Okay, so when we get in, we have to grab these 3D glasses and um, once it's ready to board, we'll go inside the ride. Just got out of the um, Star Tours ride and it was pretty cool because they added some new scenes in there at the end so I was, it was cool to see that. Now we're going to walk into Galaxy Edge and just look around and see what's new in the park. I to like come inside the store and it's so pretty see this but they sell all kind of cool Star Wars merch inside here and then um, I want to show you off some of the cool lightsabers that you can purchase here in the stores. So we'll just a look at all the different um, lightsabers they have. And let's see what else we can do. You know how many times I've been in there, I haven't even noticed like, all the little stuff on the very top inside the store. That's pretty cool. This is the Millennium Falcon. 
next time I'll be back here it's on Star Wars Day, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you and I'll be bringing a lightsaber at night. It's gonna be so cool to see it lit up. I can't wait, but this is what it is during the daytime. There is the Millennium Falcon ride. It's pretty lengthy, 75 minute wait, but I've been on it a, a plenty of times, so I today was just looking around. Now, are you going to join the first one? This is so cool, it's seeing the stormtroopers. That's the end of the line for Rise of Resistance and it goes all the way up there and it says the standby line for Rise of Resistance is 95 minutes so it's pretty busy here in the parks but I'm not going to be doing that today. Alright guys so we left Hollywood Studios, this is a really quick park day because it was really crowded so we just did tar tours walked around Galaxy's Edge. No, we're actually at Disney Springs to do a little quick shopping because Bao wants to find a Star Wars shirt. Not sure if he's gonna find one here because we searched at all the stores in Hollywood Studios. And then also I want to make a quick stop inside Vera Bradley because there's a new bag I want to check out and see if they have it. So yeah, come shopping with us. Of the day in Disney Springs, we're gonna be going into Vera Bradley. I want to see if they have this red Mickey backpack that I saw online. So they actually do have the red book bag that I like. It has all little red Mickeys all over it. It's so cute. It's $4.95, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it today though. Now about to enter into the World Disney Stores. Usually if you can't find anything in the parks, you can come to the World Disney Store in Disney Springs. This is a really big variety of everything. So we'll, hopefully we can find Bao a Star Wars shirt in here. Giant Mickey hat in the middle of the store. I mean, that's so cool, but I sad they don't have a Star Wars section anymore guys. It used to be oh wait Maybe I'm maybe it's here. I think I see it But it used to be over here in that corner. And they, it's been so long since I've been <laughs> All right, so when I showed you the guys where that Star Wars sign was it was just toys They didn't have any like clothing, which is weird. They usually have a big selection. So um I don't know what he's gonna wear when we go to Star Wars Day. <laughs> I mean, he says he ordered a lightsaber, but like, I don't know what top he's going to wear. So I guess we was just gonna be surprised when May 4th comes around. But anyways, guys, I have something very excited to tell you that we're gonna do next, which is our very first time going to eat here. So we're gonna be dining for dinner at this place called Sieba in the Conrad Resort. Um, it's about 10 minutes away from the Disney area. So I'm super excited to try a new restaurant. So stay tuned for that. So we just arrived at the Conrad Orlando Resort and we have dinner reservations at Sieva, so I'm really excited. The thing is, here they only do valet, but um, if you have uh, dining reservations, you get free valet parking. But once we enter into the lobby, oh my gosh, this is so nice. Look at that beautiful blue lagoon in front of us. Ooh. Had this so right in the lobby they have like this view and balcony area overlooking the blue crystal lagoon um but wow this is breathtaking this is beautiful like it doesn't look like a hotel in orlando right it feels like we're back in jamaica <laughs> like an all-inclusive resort yeah. it's so pretty so we literally were just up here taking photos and capturing the view from up there and then we came downstairs and then they have this little waterfall section in the front. A lot of seating here. Um, and then we're going to go check out that sandcastle sculpture that's in front of us. And get a closer look of the big blue um, lagoon in front of us. This place is so nice, you guys. Wow. Makes me want to go swimming. <laughs> the weather's perfect for it, too. Let's see what they're building over here. Like they're sculpting um, castles and stuff to make the Conrad um, sign and Evermore right here. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to walk over here so you can get a closer look of the Blue Lagoon. This is so nice. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look how huge it is. You guys got to capture this for yourself with your own eyes and then dress to the camera. This is gorgeous. <laughs> for dinner, we're gonna be going here in the resort, at the restaurant called Sieba. I guess they have their own elevator to get up there. I don't know. I'm gonna find out first time. Or is it this way to go to the restaurant? 
So we thought maybe the restaurant was back here, but we came over here and saw this really cool, like, what do you call this? I don't know, but it's like all these hallways go to go to the room, but it just looks really cool. Okay, so I was right. That elevator goes up to see it, but it's right here. It's the entrance to check in. We have reservations over here. Right before you get into the restaurant, they have this outdoor lounge area. And look at this from up here. Views for days. It's wow. This is so cool. But once um, they call us in to get our table, we go through these doors to go be seated. But we're just gonna chill here till they call our name because we're a little bit early for our reservations. This is so cool, guys. Our table is facing toward the lagoon, so it's so nice. If you ever come here, try to get a seat facing toward the lagoon. Um, and I also like how they put the utensil on this little wooden, I guess, porcicle thing. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to dine and see how the food is here. So this is a look at the menu. These are the appetizers, and then he said from El Paso down is their tacos, and then these are their main entrees, and these are to share. That's what the last uh, three on this item is. Okay, so we ordered a couple of mocktails. This is Bao's drink, and then this will be mine. So, hope you guys can see this. We're going to have our drinks and then wait for our food to arrive. Okay, so uh, Bao ordered the guacamole for us to share, and then you can use these chips to dip into the guacamole to eat it. It looks really good. Yeah. Okay, so we're sharing two different tacos. The first one is the recommendation by our server, Leonardo. Um, this one has pork in it, um, which is called the El Pastor. And then the second one has um, lamb. Um, so we can't wait to dig in and try these tacos and see how it is. So we're gonna be sharing this um, steak. It's the, what is it? Wagyu, the Wagyu steak. I know it's kind of hard to see. Yep, that's gonna be the last entree of steak. Okay, so for dessert, we got this thing that literally looks like a corn on the cob, but it's really a cake. And I'm gonna show you the after after we cut it and see what it looks like in the inside. But it's so cool. Um, he's saying this is one of the best desserts they have here on the menu. I'm gonna cut into it and show you guys what it looks like on the inside of the cake. Go. Is that hard? Yeah, break. it's actually yeah. Oh, so this is what it looks like in the middle. And he's turning it to the side so you can see a better look. See, it's like a uh, mousse. I think mm -hmm. look at the yellow mousse on the inside. All right, guys. So we just finished having dinner at Sieba, and it was a great experience. Um, we only had to wait a few minutes as soon as I checked in for the reservations, and then they brought us back to the table. And then Leonardo, the, our server, was awesome. Like all his recommendations that we tried was delicious. My favorite taco was the El Al Pastor, which is the one with the pork in it. Um, the guacamole appetizer that we shared with the chips was really good, and then the steak that Bao and I shared, the wagyu, was was good too. Um, the one I didn't like. Um, the most was probably the lamb, the lamb tacos, but everything else I loved. Even the corn dessert, like when breaking into it, it was kind of hard because the outside shell was very hard. But then it was a pretty good cake. Um, overall, I definitely recommend you guys come in there. Just know it's a kind of a little pricey on the higher end, but I mean you gotta expect that when you go into a fine dining restaurant. But the service was good, food was good. Um, the views is great from where we were sitting. Like I said, try to get out here early because it does get pretty packed toward later on in the night. And they said if you come out like around 8.45ish, you can see the fireworks from Disney. Because the restaurant was like literally up there. We just came from there. And you can see from the rooftop the fireworks if you come out later on at night. So right now we're just walking around the resort, checking everything out. It's very quiet. All the people that were canoeing earlier are gone. Um, people are some people are still swimming in the lagoon. Like I keep wanting to say it's a beach, but it's not. I don't know why. I guess because of the sand that's here. So here's a look at the map. Um, if you want to explore Evermore Bay, um, so we're right here next to the villas. This big area is the lagoon right next to us, but they call it the Evermore Bay. And so we're just like making a lap around this whole area just check everything out I'm just gonna try to make 
this cornhole into this whole board right over here. Let's see. Oh, so close. Look how close that was to the hole. So you make it this one. Nope. How did better than me? I didn't catch it on camera, but when he threw it earlier before I saw recording, he did make it in a hole. So he's better at this game than I am. I suck, obviously, and you'll see why. But let's try. <laughs> Try this one. Oh. Like you have to have a good angle. Oh, mm. So close. Ah, oh, come on, I want to make at least one. I'll be happy. Ah, it went right over the board. Oh. All right, this is the last one, guys. Let's see if I can do Ah, too far. Oh, at least I... So we're about to leave now. This is the valet area. They don't got self parking. Um, don't forget to get your uh, parking ticket uh, validated, which they'll stamp it at the restaurant, see, but so that way they don't charge you $50 for parking. So we're just waiting for the car to be um, pulled up and then we can head out. All right, guys. So just got back home and it was a really good day. Started off at getting Dutch Bros coffee for the first time. I'll definitely be back. I hope they open up more locations somewhere maybe closer to home. Um, and then went to Hollywood Studios for a little bit. Got to ride Star Tours, which was cool because I got to see a new scene at the end that I haven't seen yet. And then did a little quick shopping in and out at Disney Springs, even though I didn't buy anything, but did some window shopping. And then um, at the end had a fantastic dinner at Sieba in the Conrad Resort. Um, it was pretty pricey because for both of us, it was like $187 plus tip. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you guys are going, it's going to be on the pricier side. But it was really good service and good food. And don't forget, like I said earlier in the video, to get your um, ticket validated. So that way they can stamp and you don't have to pay for valet parking. Um, and that resort was really beautiful, like seeing everything around there. Like, wow, I, want, I wish I could do a staycation there. Um, but it's pretty expensive a night. Um, but overall, guys, I hope you enjoyed this day with us. If you do, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next adventure. Bye.